Hey Miles, YouTube from Nexus Core here, um, bringing you another Dragon World deck profile from Buddy Fight. Uh, this time it's the new um, Dragod slash Dragon Deity tribe. Uh, so uh, my buddy is Gargantua Dragon, um, just kind of like he's like the you know, the, the main card of the deck, you could say, Dragon World flag. Um, I don't run any size threes, so we're just going to immediately dive into the size twos. The main card again is Gargantua Dragon. Uh, its call cost is you pay one gauge. Um, and you add the top card of the Nexus Soul. Uh, also, in case you guys haven't noticed, um, this card isn't, Gargantua Dragon isn't Dragon World. It's, uh, it's like no world. Um, so he can be used with all flags. Uh, we've seen that, like, this is going to become more relevant with the coming of the Katana World build. So it's like, eventually we're going to probably see Gargantua Dragon working in, like, you know, Hero World, uh, uh Star Dragon World, you know, just, uh, uh, fucking Legend World, whatever. Just different, you know, multiple worlds. Um, which I'm super excited about. Uh, its only ability is the new G Evo skill that's exclusive to Drag Odds. Um, and that ability is at the end of the battle this card attacked, call up to one Drag God monster from your hand on top of this card without paying the call cost. So you evolve it. So it's a combination. I think I said this in the um, my, uh, my start deck, uh, my starter deck um, unboxing, but it's a combination of Jackknife's like evolution uh, and Ambush. Um, because and it's and it's more offensive. So like Jackknife was, you know, evolving into cards. Ambush is when the card is called do X, but when it's called through Ambush, also do Y or do Y instead. So that's kind of how G Evo works. It's like if you entered the field, if this card enters the field, do X. If it entered through G Evo, also do Y. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this card has Soul Guard also, but you know whatever. Um, Seven two four, just pretty like basic. Uh, then I also run three Awakened Deity Gargantua Dragon. Um, no call cost. Uh, same thing with Gargantua. Uh, you know, can be used with all flags. It's got G Evo, and then it also has Penetrate. No double attack or soul guard, though. Um, pretty vanilla. But the reason I run it is because these are the only Gargantua Dragons in the deck that have G Evo. And you can G Evo? G Evo is not once per turn. You can do it as many times as you want. So... <laughs> You can be like, all right, attack, uh, G Evo, attack, G Evo, attack. Like, if you can do it, you can G Evo with everything in your hand. Um, this deck, I didn't totally realize that. Like, I never, I, I never, it just never occurred to me. I was like, oh yeah, you're just going to immediately G Evo into like one of the um, modes, which I'm, I'll go into right now. But you can just G Evo as many times as possible and... Um, and throughout all that, you're always going to be stacking on soul, so you can just keep soul guarding stuff. Uh, so, here are the actual Dragon World cards. I run three Gargantua Dragon Blast mode. So, that's the thing, like, Gargantua has, like, multiple modes. It's literally uh, Mega Man.exe. Um, but, uh, you, its call cost is normally pay two gauge, and the top card of the deck goes to this card. So, that is the call cost, that is the call cost for all of the different, like, X modes for Gargantua Dragon. Um, However, because it enters the G Evo, you don't need to pay the cost. So this deck, you don't really use that much gauge. There have been so many games I've played where I'm just like, I don't need to charge and draw because I only need two gauge for everything that I'm doing. Um, so super leaning on resources. Uh, its ability is when this card enters the field for this turn, it gains an additional critical. And as you can see, it's pretty big already. It's a 10k attack power, three crit monster um, with double attack. Uh, so that's, you know, f that's six damage already with the additional crit. That's eight damage collectively. However, if it entered by G Evo for this turn, this card's attack cannot be nullified and its damage cannot be reduced as long as it's attacking alone. So not only does it gain a crit, it's swinging for a collective eight damage that cannot be nullified or reduced. Now, some people, I want to clarify, Loud Voice does get over that because Loud Voice reduces the critical, not the damage. What it means is that, like, if you're casting a card um, and it's, like, all damage you take this turn is reduced to one, like the new Hero World card, um, this, gets, this, that, uh, this gets over that, where it reduces the damage you take, not the damage you... Uh, like, it reduces the damage... Okay, it reduces the damage your opponent is take. Your opponent cannot reduce the damage they take, only the... You know what, I'm not making sense, and I'm just going to sound like an idiot now, because I'm effectively saying the same thing. So, I think you guys get the idea by now. Um, so, solid card for offense. I'm not running four, because 
this isn't actually like the main G Evo card you want, like the main card you want to G Evo into. Um, there are multiple ways to finish the deck. Again, you or to finish with the deck. Again, you can literally just keep G Evoing with Gargantua Dragon into multiple Gargantua Dragons, and that can be how you win. The deck has like multiple win cons. It's great. Um, but this card is like the fastest and most efficient way to kill off your opponent. Um, this is kind of the main one that you want to go into for the modes. It's a uh, Gargantua Dragon Sonic mode. Um, same call cost as all the others. Uh, when it's... Oh, so additionally, like on top of its Jeevo ability, uh, this card on the field cannot be returned to hand and its abilities cannot be nullified by your opponent's card effect. So it's a really... It's good for defense. Also, its stats are swapped. So instead of a 10-7, uh, it's a 7-10 because it's a defensive card. But you also run it for the amount of resources it nets you. Um, when it enters the field, you get to heal too. Then if it entered by Jivo, you also get to draw too. It also has move and counterattack. Um, super helpful for the defense. Uh, really great for your resource gain. Because the deck, like, it has a draw engine. But um, it this card just accelerates that like even more. Like You can go into it turn one. Um, and you won't be able to attack with it if you're going first, but you, the fact that you heal two and then you get two cards before your opponent has even started their uh, their turn, um, it's super helpful. It, you know, it can drastically alter the game. Uh, so those are all I run. Um, there are others, but they're really not that good. Um, I would not recommend using them. Then I run this other size two called Lands Guard Dragon. Um, it may seem weak at first. It's just a six one one. And a size two, so you're like, what's the reason? Uh, well, so its call cost is um, you pay one gauge and you add a card from your drops into this card's soul. So you're not like, you know, milling through your, you're not like going through your deck, uh, potentially losing your um, gargantuas. Uh, but its ability is if you have a dragon on your field, this card is reduced to size one. So you can have this and a dragon. Um, then also, all dragon on your field gain penetrate and they cannot be rested by card effects. So really useful card for the offensive and to top it off it has triple attack so it's great for just picking stuff off and then just going crazy with your gargantuas um oh no I, that keeps happening uh it changed the resolution fuck richard's gonna fire me um yeah uh i was initially doing three and then i realized just how useful that needs to focus then i realized just how useful this card is and i had to put it at four um then for your size ones, there are only four. I run four Garcat. I don't do Gardog because I realize you don't need that much gauge. Gardog is just charge two on enter if you have another uh, DD Dragon Tribe. This card is, when this card enters the field, if you have another DD Dragon Tribe on the field, you get to charge one and draw. So, also, there's no ability name and there's no ones per turn. So you can just keep calling them and looping the skill. Um, that's why I was thinking about a uh, play where I use... Um, Dragonic Return, I think it's called. It's a new spell that came out. It's literally just you cast it, bounce all of your monsters back to your hand, and then you heal one. So you heal, you like, you know, call your Garcat, and like, you would call a Gardog, uh, and then you get the, you know, the two gauge, um, you get the, well, you get three gauge, and then you get to draw one, and then you heal off of Dragonic Return, and then you just recall them, and you gain even more resources. So you just multiply everything you gain plus one additional life. But then I realized that that's not necessary. The deck just does not need that much gauge. Um, and that's the only size one I run. This deck is just all about Gargantua Dragon. You really don't focus on anything else. This is just to help you, um, like, accelerate towards your, uh, your you know, your G-Evo plays. Uh, then for my items, I run four Deity Dragon Sword Garblade. Uh, it's only pay one gauge. It's a 6k, two crit, uh, item. Um, it cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is pretty useful, uh, and its other ability is when it attacks, if you have a drag god monster on your field, for this turn, this card gets double attack. So, on top of being able to just G-Evo however many times you can possibly do so, this card is also swinging with double attack. So you can deal... I've dealt, like, all... I've dealt above 20 damage to my opponent in just one turn off of, like, this card, Lands Guard Dragon, and the amount of times that I've been able to G-Evo. And then I also run two Sun, uh, Sun, Deity Dragon Sword Garcris. Um, 5-2, uh, its equip cost is pay one gauge and pay one life. If you have a Dragon monster on your field, this card and all Dragon on your field gain 4k, uh, power, and they cannot be destroyed, and their abilities cannot be nullified. Um, initially, I was just gonna, I was gonna do four Garcris and two Garblade, but I realized that the offensive is a lot more important, um, 
And a lot of the decks that are out right now, uh, aside from Cosmo Man and Amaterasu or Electro Deity, um, hitting like higher power isn't super necessary. Like a, a, a lot of times, um, you're going to be able to destroy your opponent's monsters. You're going to be able to hit your opponent. Uh, and in terms of like the effect destruction, um, I only go into this card if I know my opponent is running like uh, cards with effect destruction, and that's only on my turn. It's like because the effect destruction, bouncing, all that stuff, that's like the main way that your opponent is going to get over your, um, you know, multiple, like multi attack with G Evo. Because they're like, oh, I'll intercept. But like, even then, the amount of Soul Guard that you stack onto your cards through G Evo. Effect Destruction isn't even that big of a deal. Like, this card, it's just not super necessary. That's why I'm only running two of. Um, I've considered upping it, but I just don't see a reason. Also, there's a card that allows you to search out your items. So, like, most of my games, I want to see Garblade, so I run it at four. The games where I know my opponent's running Defect Destruction, or, like, on turns where I'm like, I know they have a spell, or, like, I know they have an ability, and I really want to win... I'll just switch out to this card. Um, so it's got a lot of like utility. Uh, it's super useful for like the, um, you know, like just keeping your cards alive, but so is the soul guard they have. So you don't really need to run four of it. Um, also, I f kind of forgot to mention, your items are all deity dragon tribe. Basically everything in this deck is a deity dragon tribe monster. And then your gargantua dragons are also drag god. So if you have an item equipped, and you call Garcat, you meet the criteria. That's why I was saying, like, oh, call Guard Dog, you get the ability. Call Garcat, you get the ability. Because if you have the item equipped, you get both of them to go off. Um, so you don't need to, like, call any unnecessary monsters. You don't need to call, like, one Garcat and have it whiff and then call another Garcat just to get off a charge and draw. If you have the item equipped, if you have the opportunity to equip the item, equip it. <laughs> um, then I run for my spells. Three Gargantua Switch Mode. This card's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Um, it's cast cost is solely, it's just, it's simply one gauge. Um, you G Evo one of your Dragon monsters. Uh, so it's just G Evo, call up to one Dragon monster from your hand on top of a Dragon without paying the call cost. So here's a fun little play you can do. Uh, and I'll make it like short and simple. Um, there, there, no. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. That's, that's a fun one. Uh, and there. Okay. So in the event that you have this hand, which is actually really likely I only run 50 cards and the deck doesn't have draw power that you usually see a lot of your cards, you can do something like this. Like, okay, so call, attack for two. Uh, now I'll G Evo, attack for two, or attack, let's stack it up. Attack for four, attack for six then. Um, okay, G Evo into Sonic Mode. Sonic Mode, oh look, I drew this card, or oh look, I already had it in hand. Um, attack for, what, I was at six? Okay, attack for eight. Uh, now I can't G Evo anymore. Sonic Mode cannot G Evo into anything. Um, so, oh no, what do I do? Okay, cast. G Evo Sonic Mode into Gargantua Dragon. Uh, so I was at 8. I was dealing 8 damage. 8, um, 10, 12. G Evo gains the crit. 12, uh, uh, 16, 20 damage right there. That's how I like... That's like one of the win cons. And all it takes is just one spell and a lot of monsters that you can actually search out or draw into really easily. So, um, also if your opponent like rests your Gargantua Dragon and you're not able to G Evo, this card can just fix that for you. So, um, just all around a really great card. You can also use it on a defensive. So it's like, if you do a turn where you're like, okay, attack and then G Evo, and this somehow doesn't kill, like you G Evo into Blast Mode and Blast Mode somehow doesn't kill them and you're in trouble. You can just be like, oh, you're, my opponent's going to attack. Okay. Cast uh, switch mode. G Evo into Sonic mode, and then I'll just move to the center, and now I'm protected. So you can do that, like, for defensive purposes also. Um, I only run three because I don't want to see it more than I see my Gargantua Dragons. Um, and again, with the amount of drawing that this deck can do, and just, like, the... Like, I, I, I run a small deck. It's just the 50 cards. So you, like, I've never had a reason to run four. I've just never been in a situation where I'm like, God, I wish I had another one. Um, and even if I do, that's, like, one time out of the... Just... I don't even know how many times, like, I've played this deck now. Um, but... Uh, 
you just don't really need four. You can run it at four if you know if you have like shitty luck or something. But I guess like your your luck shouldn't be a. Uh, ah, it can. Like I guess your luck can be like a deciding factor on how you build your deck. Um, as Atlas said, you know Barber's Law. <laughs> um, then I run four bots link. Uh, yeah, this card doesn't need to go in a bots deck. Um. Y'all should know what this does by now, just because it's been such a prominent card for um, Thunder Empire, which, you know, was part of the 0 0.5 meta, the tier 0 0.5 meta of uh, basically the entirety of 2017. Um, you can only cast a card if you attack three times or more during this turn. Uh, and Link attacks only count as one. Uh, counter, check top three cards of your deck and add one from among them into your hand. Charge the other two and you heal one. I run this card because... <laughs> Hitting three attacks is piss easy with this deck. As, like, Lands Guard Dragon, that meets, that reaches the criteria for this card on its own. Um, but because you can add, like, oh, I'll add a Switch Mode to my hand. I'll add a Gargantua Dragon to my hand. I'll add my, um, you know, like, I'll add my G-Evo targets into my hand. So it's like, even if you don't have the cards in your hand when you enter your battle phase, this card can help add those back. It can also fuel for your impact, which is just a stupid card. Um, so definitely run this card it's 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 stupid not to um the deck works out all too well with this uh I, and i run it at four because despite the fact that it's once per turn i can easily pull it off every turn that i have it um it's just run it it's so good i only run three gar oracle this is your main draw engine uh you can only cast if you have a dd dragon trap in your field again the item can count Pay one gauge, draw two. Then if you have a drag out on your field, also heal two. Um, I don't run four because it's only a once per turn, so I don't want to draw into it and then have only one of the... Like, like okay, great. Only one of the cards I drew into is useful, potentially. You know, and then this other one is a vanilla, or, like, this other one is literally... Like, literally cannot be used until the following turn. Um, but, yeah, definitely run this card at at least three. You can try four. I only do three because I'm, I'm comfortable with it. The deck works out. It, it, it makes it less bricky and, like, less cloggy for me. Um, but uh, it's, you know, you can draw into your Jeevo pieces. It's, it's just, it's like the draw engine, the draw engine, the search engine. They help you fuel Jeevo so much. Everything in this deck just helps you extend Jeevo. And it's so good. Uh, so earlier when I was like, oh, I can search out my item or I can search out my monsters. This is the card I was talking about. Drag God's Shine. Its cast cost is to pay one life. Um, choose and use one of the following two abilities only once per turn. Put up to one Deity Dragon Tribe item from your deck to your hand and shuffle. So that's why I'm saying like in the situation that you do need Garchris, you can just cast this card and search out Garchris if you don't already have it. Then its other ability is put up to two Deity Dragon Tribe monsters with different card names from your drop back to your hand. So let's say like... You don't somehow kill your opponent on a turn where you did like four or five G Evos, which I still have yet to do, or I still have yet to um, have that happen to me. Uh, I typically win by like turn two with this deck, but um, uh, you can like soul guard them out and just grab your G Evo pieces back, or you can just re grab your like Gar Cats and call your Gar Cat and you know just keep like cycling through your resources. So it's an extender, um, super good card. I run it at four solely because um, I really don't want to, uh, like, it's only a once per turn card, but spell nullification is becoming kind of prominent against the decks where I really want to use this against, um, like Electro Deity. Like, I don't want to just put Garchris to four to counter Electro Deity, for the hope of countering Electro Deity. Um, so I run this card at a four because there have been several times where I cast it, and I'm like, if I cast this card and I grab Garchris, or if I cast this card and I get exactly the Jeevo targets I need from my drop zone, I win the game. And he's like, oh no, I'll cast Sakura Fubuki, or whatever that one like spell nullifier is. So, four of, because you want to see this card. There's also no way of searching it out, uh, aside from drawing it. Um, then I run four Gar Parry. Uh, you can only cast if you have a um, Deity Dragon Tribe on your field during your opponent's turn. You can have a center. That's what I love about this card. You nullify the attack and you draw a card. Just, you just have to have the DD Dragon Tribe. And again, the item counts. So, like, this card's great. It's just, a, it's, it's, it's a better, um, Arc Dragon Shield. Or Lightning Dragon, whatever. I'm pretty sure it was called Arc Dragon Shield. Um, 
And then I run two Deity Green Dragon Shield. I'm considering taking this out and running some other cards, maybe like actually maxing out Garchris, or um, if we get like another uh, Gargantua Dragon that fits into Dragon World, I may, and that that's like really good, I may ditch it for that, but I'm not going to speculate yet. Um, just for now, it's a, it's really useful. Uh, it's it has the similar like criteria as Gar Parry, where you need to have the Deity Dragon Tribe, but you do need to have an open center for this card, like you did with the old Dragon Shields. Instead of so, whereas Green Dragon Shields nullify the attack and heal one, Deity Dra Green Dragon Shields nullify the attack and heal three. So there have been times where I've put myself up to like twenty life just because of all the amount of healing that this deck can do. Um, and if you notice, a lot of the new decks in Ace can heal a shit ton. I saw a, a Link Dragon Order player heal up to 30. He had to use two life counters. It was hilarious. Then for the impact, we got our new Gargantua Punisher card. Um, I fucking love the artwork, too. I don't know why there's a Beyblade character on it in Buddy Fight, but um, he... I don't know. You know, he looks pretty neat. Uh, I like his jacket. Um, Deity Gargantua Punisher. Uh, and it says it all right there. I... Oh, hang on, let me try and focus. Yeah. I win. Um, you can only cast this card during your opponent's... No, you only cast this card if your opponent's life is 5 or less. Neither you nor your opponent have a monster in the center, and if you have a Dragon on your field. A dragon monster on your field. Which, all those, all those um, requirements, they're going to be met really easily. Uh, its cast cost is only 2 gauge, and you deal 5 damage to your opponent. It cannot be nullified, and the damage cannot be reduced. So it's just... It's like the best iteration of the Gargantua Punishers we've gotten. Um, I guess you could argue that that one that deals 20 damage is like the best, uh, considering how easy it is to pull off. But like, I'd kind of argue that this is easier to pull off. And like, it's just so, it's such a good card. And you only need two. I've seen people run like, like three and four. I'm like, you, you don't need to do that because you draw so much. Um, Gar Oracle, uh... Garcat, um, Sonic Mode, you, you can go through, you can use each of those cards once per turn, um, Garcat more so, sorry, sorry, you can use those cards all, you can use, you can use those cards multiple times a turn, whatever, I'm not gonna, like, be specific, um, but you can draw at least five cards just off of that one turn, and it's so easy to get the combo pieces you need, um, I've seen this card almost every game I play, and while I don't always need to use it, uh, it's a nice option to have. Um, so that's my main deck. I was considering showing you a sideboard, but I actually have not completed the sideboard yet. Um, after my locals uh, two weeks ago, I kind of developed a very strong hate for Electro Deity because this deck gets shut down by them. Um, to those of you who don't know, they call a defensive monster that acts as like a, you know that acts as like an item with defense on your turn that can go anywhere between 12k and um, 18k uh, defense. Which even with Garchris on the field, you cannot hit over. So what I have to work with so far is one overturn armor dragon drum bunker dragon and the reason being is its overturn ability is pay one gauge when it would link attack with you for this battle your opponent cannot counter this card and this card gains two critical and its life becomes in its uh, power becomes infinite so you get to easily swing over any electro you get to easily swing over amaterasu and you guarantee the five damage and if that knocks them down to five and you have dd gargantua punisher available use that shit <laughs> Um, although you probably won't, because, yeah, you won't actually, because no drag odds. Never mind. <laughs> but, um, it's really useful for, like, getting over, uh, Electro Deity, putting them in, like, a tight spot. And then another card for getting over Electro Deity is, um, I almost read that as Garfield. We need a set spell called Garfield. Alright, I'm complaining. I'm sending... Guys, guys, I'm going to start a change.org petition, petition, okay? To make a card like that. Doesn't matter what it does. As long as we have a card called Garfield, I'll be happy. Um, its call cost is to pay a gauge and you add a card to its soul. Because it has Soul Guard. And all Deity Dragon Tribe on your field gain 3k power. So, um, you know, with like Garchris, uh, your Gargantua Dragons all gain 7k. So, super useful for beating over the 12k that Amaterasu is during your turn. Um, and then that's kind of all I've been, oh, and I, okay, I'm running loud voice at four, for sure, no argument there, 
Um, because you can use it to counter Electro Deity and virtually any other deck, especially, okay, Cosmo Women also. Like, the fact that they can swing at you for five crit on their first turn before you've even made any plays, that, that killed, that killed me several times when I played against that deck. So, having Loud Voice as an option to that, um, is super nice. I don't main, I'm not main decking Loud Voice, um, because it doesn't, it's not necessary, and the deck space is kind of tight. Like, I want to keep it at that 50, because I just want to focus on the on the aggro of it. Like, I have the defensive spells, I have the Garpera, I have the uh, Duty Green Dragon Shield, I have my um, Sonic Mode, and I have the copious amounts of healing this deck can do. I do not need to reduce my opponent's, like, two or three easily avoidable two crit monsters down to one or zero crit monsters that can't hit like it's not a big deal i can afford to take the damage and then um i thought this was at a two of but i seem like i don't know i can only put this at a one of gar break uh and this isn't this isn't 100 percent. the sideboard isn't complete as you can see and the only reason i don't have the loud voices here is because they're in my sun uh sun dragon deck um if you guys want to hit me up with a copy of four you know just just message me uh, at our, uh, you know, our, uh, main account, um, on Facebook, uh, or even Instagram, <laughs> but, um, it's, when you cast this card for the turn, uh, all DD Dragon Tribe on your field, their criticals cannot be reduced, uh, by card effects, and, um, when a size tier greater DD Dragon Tribe monster on your field attacks, destroy a card in your opponent's field. I haven't had the opportunity to test this card out, actually, but I'm mainly running it because, um, you get to burn through Cosmo Man's soul, uh, and, um, I haven't fought the deck yet, but against Link Dragon Order, if they don't have that card that nullifies effect destruction, this is super useful because you just kill off all of their D-share cards. So, um, and I'm only run running it at a one of because I can't really fit it anywhere else. Um, if, if I, if, if more playtesting shows that this card is, like, a lot more necessary than, you know, it currently is, which it really isn't, um, then I will actually like try main decking it at three and putting my deck up to 53 cards. But right now I just like focusing on the G Evo aspect and like really trying to rush down my opponent to kill them. And so far that's doing a really great job. So, um, I'll see, you know, fucking life counter. Uh, that was my deity dragon tribe slash drag God deck profile. Um, there's a lot of, like, I've seen a lot of, uh, even, even, even like small variations in the deck that do kind of change up how it's played. So um, if you guys have the same deck or if you guys have been like experimenting as well, hit me up. I would love to have like a discussion on like, you know, fully maximizing how the deck plays um, or just like different combos I may not be aware of. Uh, give me recommendations too. Tell me I'm wrong. I, 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 I don't think I've enjoyed a buddy fight deck like this one in like really since I started playing Buddy Fight when it first came out, um, this is probably my favorite Buddy Fight deck. I just thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I love the offense, so I want to make it as... Like, I just want to make it as best as possible. So, yeah. Um, you know, like, uh, send the video to your friends, tell them to get good, um, tell them, you know, uh, tell all those Vanguard people that Buddy Fight is, in fact, the better game. Um... And, uh, I hope this deck helped you. Uh, yeah, so just give me a message if you want to discuss stuff, or, like, if you want to, you know, leave a comment if you want to, like, recommend something, and I'm, I'll try it out for sure. Um, you're definitely going to see fights with this deck. A lot of fights. We've got a lot of buddy fight content to film. But for now, this is Miles, and I'm from Nexus Core, signing off.